I'm Kevin Henderson from Waffle TV, and on the couch with me, I have the three English men. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where are we looking over here? Anyone? <laughs> Both. So, um, how have you fought? Were your friends at school? No, no. Well, I uh, I knew yeah. Tom at university, um, and uh, the original three Englishmen was myself and Tom and Mary came up. So there were three people, but they yeah. weren't necessarily all English. And he he, he left. He's sort of an American now. He emigrated. And we've got these two. He's actually in Namibia now, the uh, the, the South African uh, country. Uh, and yeah, we've got these chaps uh, involved. Riveting, riveting tale, but you, you, you did ask. Uh, yeah, so we've got these boys on, uh, involved in London. Yeah. So, um, well, I was asked to join last. Well, we, we phoned up quite a few people, but a lot of them didn't answer their phone straight away. And this Jack true. answered his phone. Number six on the list. Six always nice. It's slipped. No, it was about four. It was about four. Yeah, about four. Yeah, four. Okay, right. But we couldn't change the name because we already had about 45,000 on Facebook and we didn't want to come to the That's the fan base. You can imagine what would have happened if we had the other name. And now, and now, you know, now we have 55, so it's really paid dividends. It's wrong. Yeah. 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 Up to 60, the yeah. magic number? Yeah, exactly. So, with the name three, should not get mixed up with males sometimes? You know, it sounds a bit like a club. <laughs> yeah, pub, pub right-wing organisation. Uh, <laughs> once met Mark Gatiss from the League of Gentlemen. He said, uh, you're ripping me off. Uh, no, he didn't. He was quite nice. Um, yeah, no, the name, the name, we're stuck with the name now. Yeah, I suppose it's one of those things that you yeah. give it more thought. It's quite ironic anyway. I guess people like this Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just it, it does, well people think it's our attempt to have a joke before yeah. we started, but it wasn't really at first. Yeah. It's just well, it sounds like one of those jokes where you both have partners an Englishman. We'd sometimes get introduced as an Englishman, an Irishman and a Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah. The three English gentlemen. Yeah. 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 We get we get we get all that, but I don't know, I can you imagine that when people first said of you two or something. Not yeah. to compare ourselves to <laughs> Irish evangelical rock right, you two. But you know, people are like you two, what? Y O U T O double O, you know. What what a name what a name for a band and like yeah. You know, Coldplay, you could argue, is, is, is uh, terrible. It's, it's, it's quite a bad name for a, for, for, for a group. It is quite random. Yeah. Yeah. But um, anyway, <laughs> so you've done a lot of workshops with schools and non-dick and Yes, so how do you like, teach comedy to kids? Like, what is it that you teach? It's something that you need to already have? Well, it's, we all started out doing improvised comedy. And um, there's loads and loads of improvised comedy at Fringe, and generally it picks up on these sort of theories of uh, improvisation, whereby what what is it? It's like it's like I say, oh hi Frank. Uh, My name's nice. not Frank. Right. Uh, right. So that's wrong. Uh, that's wrong. So, but if I was like, oh, hey Frank, where's my sandwiches? I put them in your doctor's surgery. Doctor Robert. Great, and now we're off. We're off, we're off you see. Wow. And it's like positivity. Although we can accept it. A lot of the time we also just we perform for yeah. in schools. Yeah. 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 So a lot of our, a lot of our comedy we try at least to be sort of accessible. Well, I think it's it's well. Yeah. 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 We've got we've got different, we've got different things, but we've got like <laughs> kid friendly <laughs> stuff yeah. and then not so kid friendly yeah. Yeah. over here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, nice mix. Good for families, good for families. Yeah, yeah it is. Broad minded yeah. liberal families. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a fun show. Yeah. So, how do you come up with your sketches then? Do you run? Because I've seen some of them, you're just singing about fine bread. Oh, oops. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. You've been paying attention. We do some monthly residency in London every month. And so the Edinburgh Fringe Festival is the first one that we have a sort of hour of new material. And often in creating an hour, silly things that we'll say, to each other or things we might have seen or yeah. from yeah. ideas and little ditties and things which actually often constitute ideas. Sometimes they're shows. completely rubbish. Yeah. 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 A lot of stuff goes straight in the bin. Strange things that I was also on the tube uh, and four Irish ladies were talking about vacuum cleaning. Yeah. We, we did a sort of fairly popular sketch a couple of years ago. Yeah, four really Irish ladies right. talking about vacuum cleaning. Uh, yeah. And you, you know, so. You're right, mate. Actually, to be honest. You feel a bit homesick, mate. Yeah, okay. It's a bit quiet, it's got to be quiet. The occasion's got to be, it's going to be You're thinking about those sketches in the bin, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Lamenting. R and B and Q, that was one of them. I won't go into that in more detail. So what do you do, like, if you find something? 
funny or there's like retire. Silence. <laughs> no, Billy. I mean, no, I think if you're performing, I think generally we're quiet. The stuff that we're doing up here is road tested, yeah. so like generally it gets the most. There's this there's this moment where we sort of debut new material and we get backstage after the show and everyone's sweating and we're quite to show quite to show and I'm gonna say something like, Oh, what about you know uh, you know, whatever it might be, like yeah. cruise ship accident, yeah. and they'll just go, yeah, we won't do that one. Yeah, yeah. Not cruise ship yeah. accident. And then yeah. everyone usually, accepts that you just don't do it again. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Usually, usually yeah. we're uh, we're all on the same page, really, with yeah. how things went. I think it's just so obvious things that really, yeah. really uh, make an audience laugh. And yeah. Things, things that don't. Doesn't stop someone saying that. What now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It will come back one day. It will come back come one day. Back. One, 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 it's a good sketch. It's a good sketch. <laughs> So what do you enjoy the most about performing at the fringe? Oh, God. Oh, dressing up as a lady. Um, well, what the interesting thing I think as a performer is that every audience is different. In terms of size, in terms of scope, I think quite a quick engagement with audience. Sometimes people are quite big and they're a lot of nurses, but the big ones do. I mean, they're a lot of nurses very quickly and so you can really play with that. Other times, you almost have to be a bit more and it becomes more of a chance. Yeah. 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 Well, there's no other time that we do with sort of this many consecutive gigs. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. First of the 22nd, yeah. is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but we never sort of do that. So it's interesting to see the same sketches with different audiences in such close proximity. You get a real idea of what people like, where life has come, and over the course of a couple of weeks before that, you start to play. Yeah. It's particularly nice when you spend like, you know, Busy year working on and you come up here and you can sort of show the best of that year. Yeah. And it's really nice when people just like they've literally not heard of you, they might just be taking enough sort of gamble like I don't know how some people do shows, but I just expect there's something like, oh we're gonna try that, we'll try that. And and then it's really nice to see people like um, leaving and having really enjoyed it. And, you know, and also seeing shows as well. I mean it's a great opportunity for us to yeah, see. Yeah, so did you get a lot of time? Yeah, I mean well yes and no. I mean you're sort of out you're out selling No, never until the show as well. Yeah. Five or six four 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 you get a lot of ideas, I think, just seeing contemporaries and other yeah, people. Exactly. It's really bad because there's always that moment where you leave Henry, like, right, next show I'm going to do five shows. Yeah. You're going to do uh, a solo show and this yeah. show and this show and then, you know, an improvised show and then, and then you sort of think, actually, no, best just, you know, stick with that, you know. Stick with that, you know. Stick to what you know. So is there any kind of comedians that you look up to for your time? Crikey. Could be here a long time with this question. They could be also here. Sorts of people. Yeah. Sorts of people. I mean, I think the strange thing is that like, often there's, there's people who we find very funny who aren't necessarily comedians or like musicians or we're all very big fans of the band Talking Heads. Uh, and I think it's part because they're not afraid to be really dumb. They're like very tight and together and then they'll just do something really silly like strange lyrics or strange performances on stage. But, I don't know, all sorts of people. Uh, we really like Carmel Burns. Uh, like their series recently, I think it's like pretty, pretty good. Yeah, just very good. Like, really, really good performance. Yeah. We did a gig with them in London yeah. a, a bit ago, and like, why well, it's just as, just as good if it's not better. Um, so, yeah, Cardinal Burns, also yeah. Colin Holt, yeah. uh, he's a big fan, and we're big fans of him. He's not on this year, he's not on this year, so. Neither is Jeremy Lyon, certainly. Jeremy Lyon, yeah. uh, we always enjoy. Um, all sorts of people, all yeah. sorts of people, yeah. So it was the guy. No, it was the guy. I mean, we all like to see a lot of theatre as well, like celebrating the band, too. Yeah. Music and things. It's a bit of everything. Yeah, it's quite very. Yeah. I'd say I'd probably 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 say I'd prob
No, he's a bit worried that he's day two and like people yeah. are like, oh, I'm a bit tired this morning. Um, no, we're not, we're not the young man we were. Uh, we're no. doing a home run of Squares, the show, from this year. So we're taking that back to our favourite London venues. And, um, so we always do a bit of a homecoming run. And people, people always like to see that because whatever press you get built up, and then the people that don't, who know you, who don't, obviously come to Edinburgh, they have a chance to see it. And so we usually do it like, yeah. Three, three or four nights. They're usually really, really good gigs because obviously you spent a month doing it, so it's like it's as good yeah. as it's going to be in terms of. By then, you either know the lines or you don't. Yeah. 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 At that point, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know the lines all run and the lines become very different lines, but then like you do it well and you know, you know the tricks. You know the tricks. Yeah. Yeah. We're bringing them back. We're bringing them out of the vault. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Those, those yeah, I don't know. We're I, working on some. We're working on a radio script as well. Which you can't tell you anything about top secret. And I don't know. At some point, I quite like to film it. We've done little bits of filming things, yeah. like a few sketches, yeah. but I think increasingly like, it will be fun to so yeah. just film a bit more because I think, I mean, I'm very pleased with the stuff that we've done in the past, but you, you kind of look at it and it was like you yeah. then and now, you, you would do it now, you might do it differently, you might do different things. So, yeah, it'd be nice to do a bit of, a bit of filming in a few chaps of three in the way. No, no, it would be good to, to film. Yeah. Done what are you doing after this? this? What are you doing after this? We've got all the costumes. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you very much. I wish you best of luck. No, no. As they said, they're performing between the 1st and the 27th of August at the Pleasant